Hello guys. Hi. And welcome back to this new show time. So I hope, well, we hope that you are okay. And um, we're super happy to be back. Not gonna lie, it's been uh, a month since yeah. we since we re we have recorded something. So it is weird anyway. So in this show time we have, we're gonna talk about books, YouTube yep. videos, Netflix, I think. Of course. And, um, I think music. 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 And music. <gasps> My favorite section. Yeah, music. So go ahead, Leslie. Okay, so I want to talk about a book uh, because I read a, the book by uh, Stephen King called The 22nd of November 1963. So that's a big reference to the date of. Uh, President Kennedy's death. Death, sorry. Uh, so basically, the story is an adult who must go back in, in time to prevent the um, death of the president. The problem is that when he goes through this kind of uh, time hole, he arrives in 1958. So obviously, he will leave a lot of time in the past before, like. Uh, being at the crucial moment, he will, of course, uh, meet people and have some adventures. Uh, and as he comes from 2011, he knows a lot about the past, which will sometimes put him in danger because, you know, people is like, it, he seems weird. Uh, and it's, it's a really good book with a lot of historical references with um, first Kennedy, of course, but also the Cuban crisis and all this um, American energy. Uh, so yeah, that was really cool. Even if it's a bit long, it's like, I think it's like 900 pages, but you know, I, when you like it, you read it. And I think it took you two months yeah yeah with college Most, because i yeah. had some books uh to read also for college oh but yeah <laughs> she had to she had to read uh, a spanish book uh written by her professor and uh, yeah yeah was it great <laughs> honestly it, w it was but it's just i hate the fact that you know i have to read something uh, and... i read because you want to yeah that's it and also we have to you know write something about it and i feel like it, it's a bit weird because my teacher was the author so i was like hey so you know i don't i didn't know how to do that but it's I think okay it went great yeah yeah yes yeah. you sent me your <clears throat> your paper it was great mm. well for me books i don't know if you remember guys but in the last year time, I was like, yeah, I have three books to buy. And uh, maybe in the next year time, I will have finished one. So I will talk about it. Well, wait, I did both one and I started like two pages. Okay. Because I have things to do. So I did not have the time to um, read everything. But I promise in the next year time, <laughs> I will finally talk about this book. And um, if you wonder... What is the title? What is the name? It is The Defining Decades um, Why, Why Your Twenties yeah. Matters by Meg J. I am currently looking at the book. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I started I it. Ju I, I just, yeah. just want to say something also about books. It's too expensive. I mean, sometimes, you know, we are students and sometimes a book is like 25 euros. So you have to to buy, sorry, in the second hand thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have many websites. So yeah. yeah. Mine was not that expensive. It was eighty euros. Eighteen, sorry. Eighteen, yeah. Eighteen. <laughs> eighteen. <laughs> eighteen euros. Uh, 18, was you know, I feel like eighteen is also like really expensive, you know. I'm glad that um for the Stephen King's book it's like 25 euros but it's like 900 pages so it's kind of it's worth, worth it, it. Yeah. yeah but for some books you know you pay like yeah 20 euros and it's like 
two hundred pages. Fifty pages. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> also, guys, sorry for the low energy, but um, it is ten a.m. We just finished revising things. I have allergies because it is spring, and uh, yeah. So sorry for the low energy today. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Anyway. <laughs> Talking about Netflix, I will let Leslie start Ooh. as always because you know. No, no, do it, do it. You want to? You want me to start? I, yeah, because I think you have a lot of things to say. Okay, so this month, guys, you're gonna be proud of me because usually I don't have any things to say, but this month I have three, three movies series. So the first one is called Navigera, but I don't know how to pronounce it in Korean, but I think it is Spanish. So <clears throat> We don't mind, Navigera. It's a Korean drama and um, it is currently airing in Korea and I'm following at the same time. So that is super cool. And it is the story about a male ballerina and um, he wants to dance. And throughout his life, he's going to meet a grandpa. And this grandpa, he wants to follow his dream before dying, which is doing ballet. And uh, together they're going to grow. They're going to, you know, yeah, teach each other things about life. And mm -hmm. we're going to follow um, some incidents. So for example, the grandpa is gonna have a disease. I'm not gonna say which one because otherwise it's, it is not funny to watch. And um, that's what I'm currently watching. The second one is called The Tale of Nok Do. It is a historical drama which is kind of weird for me to watch because I tried one which was Chinese and uh, I did not like it. Like I, it was weird and I was like, okay, I don't like historical dramas, but this one, I don't know. Amazing. It is amazing. So Nogdu, let me tell you what it is about. Okay. So basically it is a man who is living with his dad and brother. And one day um, some women, are going to attack their village and he's just going to go and find this woman and he's going to um i don't know how to say that in english to find a widow village and that's how the story begins mm -hmm. that's it okay that Sounds is a, cool. that is not a, a good way to to sum <gasps> yeah sum a, up sum up the um, the series <laughs> but that is that is a good one and it's a last, summary a summary yes sorry. a recap a recap. Mm -hmm. Learning vocabulary today. Yeah. <laughs> and the third one is a movie which starts stars Dylan O'Brien and it is called Love and Monster. Um everything is in the title. <laughs> Love and Monsters. So basically, um I don't know if you if you know that Dylan O'Brien likes to to do I think so. survivals uh, movies just like mm -hmm. the Maze Runner um I don't know, Teen Wolf, things like that. And uh, basically, it is again an apocalypse world and people are living under the ground and he's just going to go on the surface to find his um, teenage, teenage, teenager love. I don't know. Oh. The, the girl that he likes, that he liked when he was 17. So that's it. That is okay. the, the sum up. I'm really bad at summarizing things. No, you're not. But it's hope... really complicated to just talk about it, you know, when you don't because have I... like, like when you don't, when you can't um, put some images. And also, it's... I don't want to spoil people. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to be careful with my words. Mm. Anyway, All go right. ahead, Leslie. Okay, plot twist. This month, I didn't watch a lot of Netflix. Oh my God because of the final exams which are coming but because i'm a netflix woman i have this incredible movie that i've loved and it's called um freedom writers it's a it's a true story uh which is even better uh it's basically a story that happened in 1994 uh in california uh so again grew well um, has been accepted to teach English for students in high school. However, there are um, racial tensions that had uh, increased since the 1992 uh, Los Angeles riots. 
And Erin struggles to form a connection with her students because, you know, she's white and obviously she can't understand, she can't understand um, what it is to be black or Asian, you know, um, in USA. At that time, she experiences uh, numerous uh, fights between some students and she really tries to adapt her teaching to the students because, uh, for example, I know um for she has this book that she wanna talk about but no one um yeah no one didn't know about it so instead she just analyzed um a two-pack songs that during a class instead you know, of and, her talking about her book yeah um she analyzed this song because she was like she she knows that uh her student will listen to her because she, okay that's I what happened it. because you know you know to back songs right so that's it and it was really cool and also there is a book about it uh because uh the thing is it's called freedom writers because at a moment in the movie um students write their own story uh, okay. because you know uh after a while they they yeah they read they read sorry it's complicated this morning <laughs> they <laughs> they read um a book um you know the 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 diary um Anne Frank oh diary. yeah yeah Anne yeah. Frank's diaries yeah um and so she decided to uh, make them their own diary and so after that's so, that's so cool they she published a a book where their... yeah exactly i'm sorry i'm struggling this morning okay. um but uh, <laughs> uh so that's why freedom writers and that's really interesting you know um just it <laughs> the thing that i like with you um, Leslie, is um, that you always watch movies or read, read about... <laughs> <laughs> okay, she she was gonna say pardon, which is sorry in French. Okay, sorry. So the thing <laughs> that I like with Leslie is that every content that she um, watch is always linked to the history and that is super cool because I feel like I can learn many things, but you guys yeah. can also learn and... Um, yeah, it is super important, especially in those days. So thank you for sharing historical things and not love and monster movies. Just that's like okay, I do. you know, pe people sometimes need to chill and just relax. So that's okay. I also have another movie, let me search, uh, which is like Citation, I think. It's by... I don't know who, I'm sorry, uh, but... Um, it will be in the description. Everything yeah. that we say uh, is going to be in, in a PDF, I don't know, a little, yeah, little sure. publication, so don't worry. Yeah, but I'm going to read just what I have on my phone right now. It's like a bright student in Nigeria takes on the academic establishment when she reports a popular professor who tried to rape her based on real events. Uh, three lines, uh, but it's totally. What is the uh, what is the title? It's citation. Um, citation, okay. Never and the it. fact that it's cool, it's like um, I don't know where, but it it's in Africa, I think so. It's a movie in Africa, um, I think so, right? I don't know. Yeah, it's in Africa, but I can't remember the country. But I like the fact that, you know, it's not like the typical American movie with all these uh, trials and stuff and, mm. yeah, um, lawyers like that. It's just like the trial of Chicago. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, and you realize that it's not just a thing of, a, you know, Europea, European and um, American um, trials. But you also have, like, you also have the view. Yeah. The, the perception of the people who are actually living in the countries and uh, yeah yeah in Africa and I, I think it's it was really interesting because first for us as a foreign languages uh, it's important to 
you know, adapt uh, to different accents. I think this one was pretty cool uh, because it's not the same as American, of course. Um, so yeah, that was a really good one. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so on to YouTube. Um, you start or I start? I don't know. You. Do I have a lot to say? Okay, I do. So actually, this month I, f I felt like YouTube was a little bit dead. Um, yeah. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I, I watched uh, the video of... Um... Yeah. It was Nicole, Nicole, Nicole Raffi, yeah. Raffi, Raffi? Raffi, 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 yeah. Raffi, okay, whatever, she's famous, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I totally agree with what she said. Same, totally, yeah. because usually I I do have a lot of content to watch, and Leslie can, can tell, because every night I'm like, yeah, I'm watching those, video those YouTube videos, so I'm so pumped about it, but this month I had nothing like I was like okay so what do I watch and nothing and um so I've been re-watching some videos that is super weird to say but I I have this youtuber called um Miss Mangobot and her real name is Tiffany Su and her videos are super super funny and super great and everything about it I I like everything about it honestly yeah. and I've been watching her mukbang series because I don't know, I like food, so you know, <laughs> sometimes I'm I'm here watching mukbang. So yeah, I've been watching her videos, and um, she, I don't know how she does that, but every time she finds a new way, a new approach to not make people being bored mm -hmm. while watching her videos, mm -hmm. and uh, I I think it is a, ta a talent actually because mm -hmm. yeah. even for I feel like even for content creators that are maybe, I don't know, posting on IG, um, singing, doing dance covers, it is always hard to be, to have a new thing, to be, yeah. I don't know how to say that, renew, have a new... Yeah, I, I think also it's complicated to create it by yourself and not being, you know, like, oh, every, every, yeah, everybody does it. You know, uh, so they I'm start a new thing. Yeah. I need to start a new thing. Yeah. But just create it by yourself. And I feel like being yourself is the is the key to creating yeah. new concepts. So sure. that's what I I had to say about YouTube. So go check Miss Mango Bot, um channel and also I will she... too. <laughs> <laughs> and she has two channel. She has the Miss Mango Bot channel and the Stephanie Sue. And I see she also had a podcast actually with horror stories and criminal things. So yeah, Ooh. she's very versatile. So that's what <laughs> I like about her. What about you, Leslie? Um, as you said, I was kind of bored of YouTube. I think I also uh, say that in the last show time, whatever. Uh, but uh, <laughs> repeating ourselves, is, you like? <laughs> there is this documentary on YouTube that that's why also I love YouTube it's because it's not just random videos you can learn so many stuff but um this documentary called I think you heard about it it's dancing with the devil uh it's a uh, on Demi Lovato's channel so it's obviously about her um and her path with um like celebrity and because she was very young when uh what uh, what okay she was very young when she was put on pedestal on a I think, pedestal yeah yeah it's a reference of course um okay justin bieber and show minutes if you don't have it but um yeah demi lovato's be, uh, demi lovato sorry because uh she was really young and she explained how she became this woman in Maybe you, you've you probably heard about it, but in 2018, she, how do we say that? She um, had an incident? Yeah, with uh, drugs and yeah, she, so she almost had to died. Yeah, in the rehab, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she almost died and like, she survived first. Um, and 
I don't know. I just think it's like four She's episodes. Amazing. Yeah, it's four episodes of 20 minutes. And four? Yeah, four. Uh, I don't but... know. You still haven't watched it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is really like, it's just like the Billy Eilish documentaries. Then you realize that there is a human behind the, the superstar. And um, sh you realize that, you know, the hollywood industry is not perfect as yeah, it's not uh, it claims to be uh, so yeah that's really emotional uh but you should definitely watch it if you love what even if you don't really love what just to um, be informed yeah, yeah because uh i think you know we tend to fantasize for, for yeah fantasize and you know when you're a child you're like i want to be a superstar yeah that's but you don't cool. know but you want to you you don't want to die because of this you know yeah so yeah that was it i need to watch it actually so i will yeah thank you for your <laughs> recommendation <laughs> okay so this is the last the last section um music so music i'm going to start again so okay. i have three songs sorry cannot okay. choose one it's okay. so it's okay. the first one is a korean song by iu <laughs> and it is called hold my hand and um i don't know i just like this song very much i am um... it's covid i can't hold your <laughs> hand you know <laughs> so... <laughs> okay thank you wesley so this yeah. song is, um, <laughs> i think it is a love song and it is a really good um <clears throat> feels good spring vibes so Please listen to it. And uh, the second one, <coughs> sorry, is also by a um, Korean Korean band. It is, um, yeah, Akmu, Akdon musician. So it is called Love Loss, a very, very sad song. And actually it is a sort of pre, pre song, prelude. I don't know how to say that because um, this song is not on the actual album. They only perform it when they do the song live so you need to listen to it and the second the the third oh, one one. by my man the only justin bieber you know so peaches do do i do i even need to talk about this song honestly i think everyone has already listened to it yeah the because... album is amazing yeah yeah just what is, your, what is your favorite song of the album actually oh let me go on spotify okay i think this is like there there she go ah uh, yeah the one that you sent me yeah there she go <laughs> but you know it's like sometimes i'm like isn't it there she goes i it's think the, there she goes and she i have goes. this problem with english sometimes maybe it's me or maybe I'm not, I don't know. Maybe I'm not gonna they... say like Justin Bieber don't doesn't talk English because <laughs> it's Justin Bieber, but I'm like, what? Yeah, I don't know actually, but just I'm like, like uh, in Spanish, like just like the, 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 the word. Yeah, just like the fact that I'm 19 and one of my friend told me uh, something that I didn't realize yet. It was like uh, in his song like Lo "Love Yourself," and it's like "Mama, my mama." don't like you and she likes everyone else yeah but it was more like my mama doesn't like you oh yeah that's true my mom. <laughs> yeah that's it yeah. that is true and and yeah but uh it's just Justin. revelation you know, i'm gonna actually. say something uh, he he does what he wants we love you justin so. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually mine uh, is holy oh yeah sure that is my favorite one and the acoustic yeah. version not the actual version <laughs> oh i i don't know the acoustic version so yeah that was my three songs three recommendation songs songs okay. recommendation <laughs> that is not the right order um people are uh, gonna be like okay i'm not gonna listen to this podcast because they don't know how to speak english um so yeah. first that's true you know like we don't know how to speak english so because fun fact we're not english but 
<laughs> but so uh, uh, music for me, it's um, The Sun by Antoine Bradford and Sarah Jures. I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but um, I think it's a love song also, The Sun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. Never and it's a song. very chill song. And I like this kind of music. Um, there is an album also. It's by Mariana Nolasco. Nolasco, sorry my voice. But uh, actually the name of the album is her name. So it's kind of hazy. But because she's Brazilian, I don't understand a single word of what she sings. You know, you have to search by the ly the lyrics. Yeah, but uh, I I um I search on the internet on the internet. Sorry, but I didn't find. You know what? This these things happen to me too. Yeah, like, and I think it's maybe it know, is super uh, annoying. Yeah, because she's Brazilian. You know, there is no way I can understand a word. I it's had not been, like she's yeah. Italian or yeah. something. She's Brazilian. So she speaks and, Portuguese, and you're like, okay. Yeah, and I, I don't understand. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Please, no? can you translate it for me? Yeah. Uh, I had this, like, with a song called Avocado by um, the singer Samuel So. He, he is Korean. Korean? I don't know. He is Korean, but he also speaks English because, I don't know. But anyway, Samuel So. <gasps> and um, he's not very famous, and I was like... Okay, gonna search the, the, the lyrics. Nowhere to be found. Nowhere. So I even text him, like on IG, I was like, can you, can you like put the, the lyrics on your, on your song? Because I want to know what it is about. Because mm. the, the whole, the whole um, MV is about him cutting an avocado. So I don't understand <laughs> anything. I'm sorry, but also the song is called Avocado. avocado. Like, so... I don't know. So okay. yeah, I understand <laughs> you. So guys, um, before ending the episode and before wrapping up, we have an IG. So oh, the yeah. usual, the usual. Please check our posts because they are really pretty. And um, do not forget to interact with us because we're not mean. We're not <laughs> um, bad people. So yeah. And um, what can I say? If you like the podcast, please share it to your friends and family. Um, even listen, listen it to you with your uh, dogs and cats. I don't know. Um, fish, fish, also. yeah, raccoon, <laughs> anything that you have. Dolphin, lizard. So yeah, <laughs> and um, subscribe too. So yeah, guys, thank you for listening, and um, see you soon. See you soon.